Hey guys, Grass down here. Welcome to Cell Lab. This is a very complicated game, but it's very fun once you understand it. So, I have played a lot way, a long way into this game because I'm having a lot of fun with it. I accidentally played for like three hours one day. So I'm just gonna start off the t t t tutorials. We'll go through everything like normal. Um, and don't worry about this other stuff. This is like, this is just for messing around. This is for stuff I've already made. I won't be using. Um. Yeah, I won't use this stuff. I'll actually, like, go through and make the guys. So, tutorial one. Welcome to Cell Lab. Two tutorials are provided to make you familiar with our lab equipment. Safe safety procedures will be taught another day. First tutorial will teach you how to use our microscope. Please start by moving moving to the microscope. Good job. What you see here is a petri dish we have prepared for you. To zoom in with the microscope, do an inverse pinch with two fingers. Please increase the magnification to 300 times. Great. And move the substrate so we are looking at the brighter area at the top of the petri dish, where sunlight is visible. Zoom so that area is so that this area covers the screen. So I with one finger to move the substrate. So I'm moving right now. So you can actually zoom in a lot more than this. So power three, so power four, power five, power six. Keep going down. Power 7, and it stops here. So 1.71 times 10 to the power of 7. Is the smallest we can go. Okay, oh jeez. Um, okay, so I actually missed something because I touched the thing. Um, temperature not too hard. Our microscope is a system for controlling the temperature of the substrate. Turn up the temperature... Is, it, is that right, substrate? Turn up the temperature to observe setting where the cells live but mo move slowly temperature setting is chosen by this selector in the top right i see you've used the microscope before the microscope is equipped with a micro manipulator use one of its use one of its uses is to insert cells from our genetic lab on the substrate can you insert one of our recently developed cells in the area with sunlight tap where you want to insert the cell so first off, I want to show you this thing. Do you see how this is cool? You know how much we can zoom in on this thing? See that little dot right there? Let's go right down in this corner. See how defined that gets? And then from up here, you can you can't even see the green dot. It's crazy how much you can zoom in. So if I put this to observe, this is just gonna die. So because incubation, I should see the cells multiplying. No, because I put it in the wrong spot. Insert a couple more into the bright area. We want to incubate the substrate for a while. Yeah. So if I go to genome, this explains how the cells work. So this is an M1 cell, which is just like it's just a cell, and this cell type is photocyte. Which means it eats off light. So I have to put it up here and then it'll start growing and multiplying. It wants me to put a couple more. There's no objective for this one. So now those start multiplying in the sunlight. Because there's only light from up there and they die in the middle. Hang on, can they mutate? Um, are, are, are they mutating here? I didn't know they could do that. Unless those are just other ones I'd put down. I think they're just randomly turning into other cells. I didn't know they could do that. I guess this this level has some sort of like mutation value on. You want me to turn it off to incubate. Cell tracking, now you have a lot of cells. Makes it hard to keep track of them, but... 
Luckily, the microscope has a visual tracker. The tracker overlays a marked marker on a special on a selected cell, <sighs> and also moves the substrate to keep it in view. Set temperature to observe again. Tap on cell to cell to observe it. So I'll watch this that blue one. Good. Sometimes we bring cells and in from nature or or our noses to study. We can then extract their DNA using the microscope to study it in the genome editor. Let's do that that on one of the cells in the substrate right now. We put a mutagen in the substrate so some cells should have mutated, yeah. Pick an interesting one and tell Tracker to follow it. Freeze the substrate before doing this. Good job. Next step is to go to the genome editor, tap genome and press load. There choose load from microscope and the micropip will always will automatically extract the DNA of the cell in the tracker sequence it and send it digitized to the from to the genome editor. Load from microscope. Great, now we have the genome mutated cell in the genome editor. The last task is to sterilize the substrate with the built in autoclave to prepare for the next experiment. <sighs> this is done using the reset button at the top of each dish with an orange arrow. Good luck. You've now completed the, mic the microscope training program. Next up is the genome editor training program. There's the first one done. Um, huh. I, had to go, I just had to go look at something. So, tutorial 2. This tutorial will guide you how to use the genome editor. So this is where it starts to get complicated. Please start by going to the genome editing lab. Good. What you see here is the genome editor. It is divided into two parts, the preview window and the mode editor. We'll start off by introducing the preview window. It shows you your organism at a certain age. The slider right below the preview is used to see to set at what age you would like to view your organism. Now set the pre preview to show your organism at age two hours. Good job, that is all. Uh, that is all we need to know about the preview uh, preview for now. Now some genetics. All cells in the human body have the same DNA, but muscle and brain cells behave very differently. This is referred to as different modes in a cell of our lab. The genome editor can handle 40 different modes. Each mode has its own properties. One mode is edited at a time in the ge- <sighs> I'm sorry, I just like- I like just woke up. Um, for, you know, handle 40 different modes. Each mode has its own properties. One mode is edited at a time in the genome editor. And to change what mode is currently being edited, we use the select edit mode. Let's edit the mode called M5. Initial mode. Um, now all properties you see below the selector, you just you just use to describe properties of mode M5. You might wonder what mode are the cells in the preview. What mo what mode are the cells in the preview in? They are in mode M1 because M1 is the default is by default the initial mode. What mode is initial just tells the preview what mode to start with. Now make M5 initial instead by pressing the the radio button initial. Nice work. There are lots of different properties in each mode. More than you can go through in this in this tutorial. This means you'll have to explore them yourself if you want more information about any setting in the genome editor. Just click on the accompanying text with text with an underline. Now read the text about the property red color. You might have to scroll down to see it. So that a red color. Change the amount of red in the color in the cells the, in this mode. No, this does not affect the behavior of your cells in any way. Good job. Now find two more properties and make your mode, mode M5 cells completely red. And so get rid of green, get rid of blue. And all the way red. Um, child modes. Very beautiful. If you drag the preview time slider back and forth, you see cells dividing. Many settings control how this division takes place. Two important settings are what the modes of two daughter cells are in. 
These settings are labeled child 1 mode and child 2 mode. Set them so when a mo mode when a mode fi M5 cell splits, child 1 is of mode M6, child 2 is of mode M7. M6, M7. Good job. You can now see two different cells. One is M6, one is M7. Increase the preview time to four hours to see what happens. Good job. You should now see four cells. Two in mode M6 on the left and two in mode M7 on the right. The family tree looks like that. So five to six and seven and then they just continue. By setting child one mode M5 and child two mode M5 of mode six and seven, you can get them going back to fives. Instead of changing select the select selector edit mode, you can tap on cells in the preview to change what mode to edit. So now I'm auto in M6. So I want these childs to be M5. I also want to interestingly do... This is what we have. So these ones, I don't want to go out. I want to actually change their... Because um, there's this thing called split angle. So I want child 1 to go... So the angle is initially to the right. So one is, one's 90 degrees and the other one I want 270. Um, that didn't work. I just, I, just, I just changed the way they're facing. Hmm. Maybe it's split angle that I want? Does that work? Yeah, that works. And then for M7, I'll make both their children M5, but I also want to go split angle. So they split like that. Good job. Now your initial M5 cells splits into M6 and 7. You'll further split into two M5 cells. Each and the life cycle is complete. Now place one of these cells in the microscope and see how you get three types of cells, but all with the same genomes. Wait, what? Right. Um... The other thing I want to do is see this. Leash expand side... that didn't work. Okay. So they went up, and the angle stayed the same. So that went up again. Now what happened there? I can't, like, see well. They split sideways? The two turned into four. Split sideways again. Then they split up and down. So I've made something that should. I think it's, it does also require light. It's a photo cell. Um, I've not actually turned it on. Well, it's not quite working because they're getting like they're experiencing different amounts of light. I can incubate it. Yeah, that's not very pattern like. It worked here though. And then it just stops at 64. So that was the second tutorial. So, algae. Difficulty undergrad. So there's like four different difficulties um, undergrad, then pH. So there's undergrad. PhD, um, something, mad scientist, and then superhuman AI. I think, I assume mad scientist is easier than superhuman AI. Because if mad scientist is harder than superhuman AI, that doesn't much make sense. So, algae. This one unlocks the phagocell, phagocyte. So, use the genome editor to make a species that thrives in the environment as a challenge. When ready, put a cell on the substrate under the microscope and, and unfreeze it to see if it's viable. 100 cells are needed to complete this challenge. So, I need to put between 1 and 10 cells down and end up with 100. 
so I have a photo cell. So one other thing I can show you is make adhesion. And making adhesion will make them stick. So now they start sticking to each other. See that? And they will... So if you can see here, those ones aren't actually stuck together. These are pairs of two. That's because I had them make adhesion on. So here it turns to two. And then here they they split their thing, and it becomes two groups of two. If I do this for keep adhesion... Um, that might not actually do anything. If I do this, it keeps adhesion. So... If they both keep their adhesion, it's fine. If either one of them lets go of the adhesion, they split away. So I'll have them both keep their adhesion. And now what we can do... This is what happens. Did it get really dark suddenly? There's very little light on this one. Let's see what we get though. It's like a snake. And I believe that them being connected also allows them to share food so they won't die as easily. Algae 2. Difficulty PhD. This time the objective is to make a species that can multiply to at least 150 cells in the same set rate. As a previous challenge before. This challenge... Okay, so for this one... Let's try adhesion first. Incubate. It still worked. Maybe that was the point? So let's see what happens if we make it not adhesion. Uh, clear. Yeah, so here I'm only getting like 120, 130. So for 150, you need to combine them. Now, four macrophages. Or no. Um, algae three, I think. So I can only place five and make 120. This substrate has a, has a much lower viscosity than the previous one. So again, initially, if we just go a normal one, see what happens? Because when they multiply, they slide all, all over the place. So watch the one, it just slides away. So we need to make our guy make adhesion. I can actually just put another one down now. And if you watch, it's gonna happen. Um, I mean, let me clear it. Why isn't this not working? Oh. Okay, you can't put it too close to the edge there then, because it slides away. And there we go. So the snake one still worked. So, uh, four macrophages. Difficulty undergrad. Unlocked gene phagocyte and further challenges. Okay. Another cell type is now available. The phagocyte it can the phagocyte, it can eat small brown dots you might have seen appear when cells die. Eating these pieces of nutrients makes them grow. No light sources present in this challenge, but pieces of nutrients are being sprinkled on the substrate. Can you make a species multiply to 300 cells? So, a phagocyte type. And I think that's all we need. So observe. We've got plenty of those things. Now we do this. And those just start multiplying. They hit the side, which knocks them down a bit, and then they start multiplying more. If I clear it, though, there's actually a better thing we can do. If I have them, if I have M1s, if I have the children become M2s, so they go, they go straight. Let's. And then if I have children become, if I have, if I select M2 and I have their children become M1, but I have a split angle be different. 
Okay, so the line in indicates the split angle. Does that work? I just, I just don't want them like going the same direction twice. So, up, side, up, side. Yeah, that works. I put that there. So we need 300, I'm already at like 700. So we hit 700, we peaked, and now a bunch of them are going to start dying as, there's, as they've used up much of the food, but they're going to survive. So that was Macrophages, now Macrophages 2, difficulty undergrad. Um, can get 650 cells on the same, same subway as before. So I assume this is going to be a harder one. Now you have to, now you have access to that one. In the experimental lab, and this challenge will still work with the same restrictions as the previous challenge, to see if we can optimize your organism without phlagocytes. So we'll get to phlagocytes in the, probably in the next episode. You can always skip this challenge and go directly to challenge 9, where you can use phlagocytes if you like. So, I guess I should have kept my other one. I could have, like, saved it and then loaded it in for this level. And then M2s make M1s. I want M1 to have a split angle. Like that. M2 to have a split angle, like... That. So, one, two. What's this? I don't get it. I don't understand what this affects. Okay, so... Is that just it? So it just splits up a couple different times. I'm actually gonna save this one. Um, hang on. So I saved it and I called it Square Fago. It's a phagocyte. So, um, there's already one there apparently. That's the wrong kind. It didn't work because they didn't all get food. So there's less food on this one, I believe. Or it's a high requirement. I think it's a high requirement. Yeah, I still got over 650, though. And now there's less food. All the small ones are going to start dying, so it's going to be down. And then it'll surge again later. Um, I think that's where we'll stop for now. We beat, um, Macrophages 2. So Colors... Colors is like a puzzle challenge. And I think I did breeding wrong the first time, so I'll try and do it more next time properly. So hope you guys enjoyed. Remember, if you like, if you like the content, if you like and subscribe... Let me know in the comments if you like this video, because this is a different game. I mean, I'm curious to see if you're interested. Um, it's a very complicated game. Once you get start getting into like how different, once you get start getting into like different how different cells do this and that, um, I'll quickly I'll quickly give you like an I'm gonna quickly give you an example of something interesting. Load. Um. That's a preview of what's to come. So, remember guys, if you enjoy my content, if you feel like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye guys!